Hey everyone, so I'm back today with another book haul, and I have a problem, I really do, I'm gonna admit it right now. After this, I'm probably gonna go on a book buying van because I have over 30 books to show you, I think I have like 35 books to show you. Yeah, that's quite a bit, but a lot of these came from a library book sale that I went to. 23 of them came from a library book sale that I went to um, like a couple weeks ago, I wanna say, and I just never got around to showing you guys yet. And then I went on vacation to Maine with my family, and we went to Bar Harbor, and their library was having a book sale as well, and I picked up nine books from there. <laughs> yeah. And then I got a couple from Walmart, and I think one from, like, a antique show craft thing. I don't know. And then I just have a couple other things to show you, but anyway, I'll just get in right into them, because I don't want this to be a really really long video. So the first ones I'm going to show you are the 23 that I got in the first library book sale and I spent only $14.50 on 23 books. So that's a great deal and nothing was above a dollar even the hardcovers like nothing was above a dollar so woo! The first book I have to show you is Rumblefish by Essie Hinton and this is the author of The Outsiders and I picked it up first of all because it was only like 50 cents but second of all I really really love The Outsiders it's one of my favorite books ever and I never read any other books by her it's a girl I'm pretty sure the author's a girl I never read any other books by her and I've been really wanting to and I saw Rumblefish there and I don't know I'm not sure what it's about but it will be a really quick read I'll probably read it in like an hour or two because the words are so big and stuff but it's I'm really interested in it and I really want to read more books by her because I love The Outsiders so much. The next book I picked up was a total like cover buy. It's a high fantasy book and I've been wanting to get into more of high fantasy novels because I'm I love fantasy books they're like my favorite genre but I want to get into more like high fantasy books like a Game of Thrones and stuff like that but I picked up Spirit Gate by Kate Elliott and this is the first book in the Crossroads series and I'm not even sure what that's about but the cover is awesome I really like that and the spine kind of goes along with it to the back I really like it I'm not sure what it's about like at all but I'm pretty sure it's about like guardians and stuff fighting it's it's a high fantasy so that's pretty much it <laughs> the next book I picked up is The Hitting Oasis by Paul Sussman and this is a massive massive book so I don't know when I'll get to it but it sounds really really interesting it's about a woman who goes to Egypt for her sister's funeral who committed suicide and then she goes on a journey with a, an Egyptologist goes on a journey with an Egyptologist to find like the mysteries of Egypt and stuff like that and it sounds really cool it sounds like a great adventure book and I can't wait to read it the next book I picked up I just picked up on a, on a whim plus it was only a dollar and that's the best American mystery stories um, the editor is George Pelicanos, um, and this is the 2008 edition, and I really want to get into more mysteries, and I figured that just a collection of mystery novels or mystery stories would be pretty good to get into to start out, so I don't know when I'll read this, but it seems interesting. The next book I picked up I'm really excited for because I picked up the second one called Angel's Game. And I didn't realize it was the second one in the series, but I had for heard of the first one, and it is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safan. <laughs> yeah, and people say it is amazing, especially because it's a book about books. Yeah, um, it's people say it's amazing, and I really can't wait to read this one. I'm probably going to be excited for, like, a lot of these novels. But I can't wait to read this one. I'm really, really excited for this one in particular because I have the second one as well. So if you really enjoy this one, I'll jump right into the second one. The next novel I got is The Tale of Murasaki by Lisa Dalby. And first of all, can we just, like, pause for a second and just look at this cover? Look at this cover. It's just gorgeous. I love this cover. I picked it up because of the cover. And this is about um, Murasaki is or was a Japanese author I think she wrote the first novel that's what they say it's called the tale of the Genji 
And then Lisa Dolby decides to write a fiction novel about Murasaki and what she went through, I guess, while writing the novel and stuff like that. So it seems really, really cool, and I love novels about Japan and, like, the culture and stuff. I absolutely love it. The next novel I was so excited to find because it's The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. And I have not read this book yet, but people say it's really, really good. I heard nothing but good things about it. And I've been wanting to read it for a really long time, and I just never picked it up because I could never find it cheap enough. And then I found it for only a dollar. Maybe, I think it was like 50 cents, actually. I found it for only like 50 cents. So I was super excited when I found this, and I grabbed it right away. The next book I picked up because I had just finished a book by this author, and I really enjoyed that one. So I decided to pick this one up, and it's called Unaccustomed Earth by Humpa Lahiri. And this is a collection of eight stories, like short stories by her. And she wrote The Namesake, which I had just finished, and I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it like four stars, maybe 3.5. Um, definitely not like my favorite novel ever, but I really enjoyed it, so I recommend that. I definitely do. I'll do a review on it soon. And I decided to pick this one up because I figured that maybe I'll like some other stories by her, and this is a nice like collection of them. The next book I picked up I've never heard of before, but when I went onto Goodreads, I actually saw that a lot of my friends have been wanting to read it, and that's Blacklave and Lena by Haley Turner, and I think, plus the cover is really cute, I really like this cover. I think this book is about two kids, I think they met when they're really young, and I guess they're just destined for each other, and then Lena, the girl, goes missing one day. And for the next seven years, Vaclav has been, like, saying goodnight to her, and just, they're trying to figure out what happened, and then something pops up, like a clue, like, or something about what happened to her and where she went. Um, I guess that's just basically what it is. But I think it's a romance and kind of a little mystery, but I'm really excited to read it. The next book I picked up, again, I heard nothing about, but I picked it up because it looked really really interesting and that's Lady of the Butterflies by Fiona Mountain and it's pretty big it's kind of a long book and this is about a woman who has a love affair with another with a guy and I, it takes place in the Puritan era I'm pretty yes I'm pretty sure and she the woman really likes butterflies and science and stuff hence the title so I'm just really interested in it, and I don't know when I'll get to it, but I'm really interested. The next book I got is Searching for Caleb by Ann Tyler, and this is about three people who kind of go on a journey, I think separate journeys at least, and one of them is looking for his brother who went missing in like 1912, and it's just him trying to find his brother, I, that must be Caleb I guess searching for Caleb but I guess it's just their journey trying to figure out um what's going on. I really don't know something about journeys and stuff the next five books I picked up are all part of a series and they're not like all together there's a, I think the series has like 11 books in it but I picked them up because they have cool spines and they'll look good together on a shelf but they're the um what is it called the continuing drama of the left behind so I guess it's the Left Behind series, I guess. And I have five of them here. I have the first one, which is Left Behind. The second one, which is Tribulation Force. Third one, which is Nikolai. Um, the Rise of Antichrist, Nikolai. And then I have the seventh one, which is The Indwelling. And the eighth one, which is The Mark. And these are all by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. And when I picked it up, I didn't really realize that it was, um, like a Christian novel. And I'm not religious in any way. I have nothing against religion at all. But I just didn't realize that this is, a, these are Christian novels. And it sounds really interesting. It's about, like, the apocalypse and stuff. So it sounds really interesting. And I'm interested in reading it. So if you read it or know anything about this series, please let me know, because I would like to try to read Christian fiction at some point in my life. 
so maybe these are a good chance to try that. The next book I picked up I have already read, but I really wanted it in my own collection, and that's The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, and I didn't like it at first because I read it for school, and I hate reading for school, so I didn't like it at all, really. But I wanted to pick it up and try reading it again, so I was really excited when I found this, so I'll read it again, and hopefully I'll like it more. The next two books I got are, like, companion novels to each other. The first one is Bridget Jones's Diary by Helen Fielding, and the second one is The Edge of Reason. Bridget Jones's Edge, The Edge of Reason, Reason by Helen Fielding. And these are, like about Bridget Jones and I think it's like her diary or journal and I'm currently reading this one this is the first one Bridget Jones's diary I'm currently reading this one and it's really funny she's really sarcastic and awesome and she's a really fun character to read about and I'm really enjoying it so far I'm not that far into it but I can't wait to finish it and get on to this one the next book I picked up is The Wasties by Frederick Roos and I really have no idea what this one's about at all so I can't even ex my books are falling over so I can't even explain <laughs> to you what this one's about but I when I'll read it when I read it I'll let you know how it is and if I even like it <laughs> next book I picked up is The Almost Moon by Alice Sebold and she's the author of The Lovely Bones and I really enjoy that novel and I wanted to read another book by her and when I found this I think people really like it so when I found this, I was really excited and picked it up right away. The next book I picked up, I probably was the most excited person in the world when I found it. And it's Room by Emma Donahue. And people say this is an incredible novel. And I've been wanting to read it for so long. But it's so expensive. Like, even in paperback, it's pretty expensive. It's 30... No, that's Canada. <laughs> It's really, it was really expensive. I just don't want to pay full price for it. So I've been looking for it everywhere. And I found it for a freaking dollar at a library book sale. That's awesome. Look at it. Um, it's about a kid who, a little boy, I think it's through his point of view. I think he's like only six or something. And five-year-old. He's five. And he's living with his mother in um a room. And I think she must have been like a kidnapped or something the mother and then had Jack the little boy and I don't know it just sounds really interesting especially because it's through the point of view of Jack a five-year-old I'm pretty sure I'm not sure but people say it's really really good and I can't wait to read it the next book I picked up is The Passage by Justin Cronin and this this freaking huge it really is when I saw this I didn't know exactly what it was about but I think people say it's really good. I could be mixing it up with another book, but I'm not sure. Um, I think it's another, like, apocalypse story novel. I don't know, but it sounds really interesting, and it's really huge, so I don't know when I'll get to it, but I'm really excited to. So those are all the books that I got from the first library book sale. Now on to the second pile of books from the second library book sale. The first one I have to show you is the Golden Notebook by Doris Lessing, and this is about uh, an author who had like a really good novel, and then she wrote like four journals in all different colors about different things and stuff, and then she decides to combine all those journals into one notebook called The Golden Notebook, and that's pretty much what it's about. It, se it seems like it's a book about books which I heard are amazing, so I'm really excited to read this one. The next book I picked up I heard like nothing but good things about, and that's A Million Little Pieces by James Fry, and I have, haven't read this one before, and I'm really excited to because I heard great things about it, and I didn't realize that it's actually a memoir about James's Fry's, the author's, um, Six Weeks in Rehab, I didn't realize that's what it was about because I just never read the back of it and I just heard that it was good. Um, so that will be interesting. I never read a like a memoir before so it would be really interesting. The next book I got I have been wanting to read for a really long time and my sister actually has it and she pointed this out to me at the library book sale and I picked it up because I had to and it's Where the Heart Is by Billy Letts 
and this is actually a movie with, I forget her name, but it's about a teenager who gets pregnant and then is left at a Walmart by her boyfriend and she's just left there. And then she ends up having the baby at the Walmart and stuff happens and years pass by and she's living with people and she meets a guy, obviously. And stuff happens and I'm just, I really, really love the movie so I've been wanting to read the book and here it is. The next book I have to show you my sister also pointed out to me and it is 13 Moons by Charles Frazier and this is the author of Cold Mountain if you've ever heard about the movie or read the book or anything. This is the author, the same author, and she has Cold Mountain. She really enjoyed it. And she, I don't know why she didn't pick this one up to take home. I really don't. But I decided to do it because I'll eventually read Cold Mountain, and I hope it's good, and I hope I like it. But then I also have this as well, and this is about a boy who is only given, like, a map horse and a, a knife or something. A key, actually. And he's told to go out into the wilderness and then he ends up being uh oh he ends up at a remote uh indian trading post and then he gets adopted by a cherokee chief and this is about like cherokee indians and stuff so that's really cool um i'm actually have i actually have cherokee blood in me so that would be really cool to read about the next book i have to show you is the girl who played with fire by Stieg larson and i think this is the second book in the series and I have the first one so I just decided to pick up the second one because I didn't know when I would find it any cheaper. The next book I have to show you is actually a bind up of three novels by Alice Walker. The first novel is The Third Life of Orange Copeland, the second one's Meridian, and the third one's The Color Purple and it's just this like cool edition. It's the Black Expressions Rediscoveries edition and it's really really cool. It has the three novels in it, and I've been wanting to read The Color Purple in particular, and when I saw this, I'm like, why not? It's only two bucks, so I picked it up, and hopefully I can get to this soon. I probably won't read all of them, like, right in a row, but I'll pick one to read and then tell you all about it. The next one I have to show you is Lost in Translation by Nicole Moans. Moms? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure what this one's about. I'm pretty sure it's taking place in a foreign country and I don't I really don't know I'm not sure but there's a lot of good praise on the back for it so we'll see how this goes and I don't know when I'll read it honestly the next book I have to show you is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn and this one was four bucks so it was a little more expensive but uh I heard amazing things about her other novels, Sharp Objects and Dark Places, I've heard amazing things about it, and I heard amazing things about this novel, and I really wanted to get into her writing and all of her books and stuff, so this is the perfect opp opportunity to do it. I can't wait to read this one. The next book I have to show you was only two books, and I was super excited to find it. It's A Treasury of North American Folk Tales, and it's just a collection of all these folk tales and stories and stuff, and I love those kinds of things. So when I found it for only two bucks, I had to pick it up. It's a really big book, though. It's really big. I can't wait to just, like, kind of dive in and read, like, a couple stories at a time. Seems really interesting. Oh, and there's little pictures in it. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, wow. This is even better now. <laughs> So those were all the books from the second library book sale that I went to. And then I went to Walmart when I was on vacation, so we had to get stuff. And I found two books there, and I was so excited to find them. I was, like, jumping out of my skin. I couldn't contain my excitement. Cassie Von Shea actually really enjoyed the first book in this series. And when I found the two of them there, I was so excited. <laughs> really I was. The first one is actually the bind up of the first two novels and then I got the third book by itself and I haven't saw, seen them anywhere except for like Amazon and stuff. When I found it I had to buy it and the first thing is it's the breathing series so it has the first book Reason to Breathe and the second one Barely Breathing and it's a big bind up. I have finished the first one in the bind up now I'm on to the second one it's a really really big book <laughs> now I'm on to the second one 
I so enjoyed it. Cassidy, you were completely right in this. I really, really loved the first one, and I can't wait to continue on with this series because I also, the second one's already in, in here, and then I got the third one, which is Out of Breath, and these are by Rebecca Donovan. I cannot wait to continue on with this series, because I love it so much. And then the final book I have to show you, I got from a antique, like, fairground type thing, and people were, had books there every once in a while, but I got Son of a Witch by, ooh, Gregory Maguire, and this is in the Wicked series, and I have the first one. I don't even know which one this one is. It doesn't have the dust jacket, but the cover is actually really cool, so I don't really mind. I just picked it up because why well, not? It was only three bucks. So I decided to grab it, and, and I haven't read Wicked yet, but I'm really excited to. Those were all the books that I got, and now I have three more things to show you. I have, um... I also, when I went to that antique, like, fairground type thing, I also picked up these little pocket books, and this first one is The Gold Bug, and it's a story or a tale by Edgar, Ged, Edgar Allan Poe, so it's just like, it's like a, just a small little book. And then the other one is The Tempest by Shakespeare, William Shakespeare, and again, it's just like this small little thing, so the, I just thought these were cool to have and just put them on my shelves as little decoration type things. Then the last thing I have to show you is actually a journal that I got at um, the oldest bookstore in Maine. It's Sherman's Books Sherman's books and stuff like that. But I got the journal and it's this really pretty cover and I love birds so when I saw this I have been really wanting to um, start writing in a journal and I have a different journal already but I haven't written in this one yet and it has a a ribbon to keep my place in it as well and the cover I mean the pages are actually really cute it has feathers and a bird at the top over there and then it has feathers at the bottom so I just wanted to show you this cute little journal that I got so yeah that was my pretty ginormous book haul and now I'm going on a book buying ban if you see any book hauls after this, for the amount of time that I have the book I'm bound up, I don't even know how long. I want to go for, like, a while, though. Um, they'll be from, like, giveaways and stuff, and stuff that I haven't bought myself. So if you see any of those, I did not break the book buying ban. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. But yeah, I'm going on a book buying ban. You're holding me to it. You are my witnesses. Because these are crazy. So many freaking books. Oh my goodness, I don't even know when I'm going to have the time to read all these. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff, and I will see you all next time. Bye!